The world is burning. Let's memester bait. You know, I actually can't make that a title anymore. YouTube flags it. Memester bait. Can you believe it? Good Lord, do they hate creativity and comedy. Standards and practices are a vital link in keeping good and funny ideas away from you, the television viewer. Anyway, speaking of creativity and comedy, we're not going to have either of those. We're going to go look at the youth of TikTok. These poor kids. They're lost. They are so confused that some of them can't even explain to you their gender choices without sounding confused themselves. It's a weird day and age in all honesty. If you were to ask the kids of today, the Zoomers, like uh, who fought in the Civil War, they couldn't tell you. But I'll tell you this, they could tell you 40 or 50 different genders. Are you a history major? I am. Okay. Who's the 16th president? Yeah, no idea. When was the Declaration of Independence signed? Um, Declaration of Independence, 1773. When did World War II end? Um, 52. 45. Are you a history major? I am. It's absolutely insane. If I had a kid in this day and age, I'd buy him an oxygen tank with a post-it note attached to it that says, use in case you forget how to breathe, because these kids need help. After the successful racial reassignment surgery of Ollie London, I knew the writing was on the wall. You see, the second you make it okay for people to, you know, change their gender, changing their race was next, and everybody's angry, which makes no sense. You know, they're like, you can't change your race, you weren't born that. But it's like, you weren't born that gender, so isn't changing your race similar? And then they start screaming, you bigot! But it's the logical next step. And after Ollie London did this, I knew it was coming next. People who don't identify as human beings anymore. Now we have interspecies or transspecies, transhuman movement. That's right. Do you feel like a pupper or a kitty? Are you a bunny or a, what else is there? An eagly? Are you a reptile? Oh my God, whatever. This girl dressed like an extra in one of Two Faces gangs can explain it to you. I made a really loud yelly video about this, but I decided I will approach this in a more calm but stern manner. A lot of the people use- Oh my god. Could you imagine being this, I think it's a kid, but I'm not 100% sure anymore? Because the adults are just as nutty as the kids these days. But imagine this person comes into your home. It's just like, what do you say to them? Oh, that's a lovely shade of orange eyebrow. It can't be a kid. Like, you have to be 18 to get gauges, don't you? Isn't there like laws and stuff where you have to have parents' permission? And what parent's gonna sit there and go, okay, honey, turn yourself into a pincushion. Have a nice day. Merry Christmas, baby. And kitty and pup and bunny self pronouns are neurodivergent minors. What the f is a neurodivergent minor? Oh, let me look this. Stu, look this up, please. Does that mean they're a minor, like a kid? Or is this, like, what are we doing here? There's like minority, but not minor. Is this so new that we don't even have it in Google yet? Yeah, dude. It, oh my God. The beginner's guide to neurodiv... Oh, it's like you got to do homework to understand what the hell they're saying. I miss the days when kids used to play Pokemon. That made more sense to me. Squirtle does 20% damage. Okay, two, 20 points off. Uh, term neurodivergent is coined in the 1990s by Australians. <laughs> And then given a different perspective, autism awareness. So you have autism? This ability then stems from alarm the societal failure. <laughs> oh, that was too true for me. It is a very common neurodivergent experience to feel a disconnect from being human mm -hmm. and from from the societal expectation of the gender you were assigned to birth. Okay, so you have a tough time being male or female, and then you just like, I'm a cat. Is that it? Is that what we're jumping? You went from A, B to Z. And she's like, you know, she thinks she's the smartest person in the room. Oh, my God. So when you have this intersection of feeling a disconnect from being human and a disconnect from the societal expectation of gender, whether you're neurodivergent or not, a lot of people have this experience who are neurodivergent. It's just very common with neurodivergent people. 
Okay, here's the thing that I don't get. What's the societal expectation? Because I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. But in this day and age, I've never seen a group of people more coddled. Oh, we've got the pandemic. Here's your Biden bucks and your Trump bucks. People running out spending $1,500 on a PlayStation 5 on eBay. Society seems to be letting you cruise control. It's like, hey, you want some mac and cheese while you game, honey? I mean, that's where we're at right now. You can't pe kick people out who can't pay rent. Okay, then now what? What are the landlords supposed to do? Um, they're evil. Why? Because I said so, bigot. And now, like, if you don't like whatever gender you are, you can change it. So what is the pressure anyone's feeling? I mean, the most pressure I see are people making themselves crazy, trying to live the lives that they see influencers live, not realizing that influencers have everything on credit, too. It's just like, I'm trying to figure out what's the struggle now. Everybody's getting little kisses and hugs. When I was a kid, if you failed, you failed. It was over. You suck. You're done. You know, they give out awards for people just participating. In my day, you got jack shit. You were called a scrub. <laughs> you didn't win. Get out of here, queef. Now, all of a sudden, everybody can't handle their gender or something. I don't know. Everybody's triggered so easily. Something on Twitter gets posted. Someone's like, oh, my God, this is so triggering. Oh, my God, I can't get through the day. I can't scroll anymore, mommy. It's just like. I'm trying to figure out what's so horrible right now. Yeah, life sucks. Guess what, Buttercup? It was designed to do so. Be grateful you're a human and not like a desert spider. Everything's looking to eat you, including other spiders. Jesus Christ, you think you could have rolled around my neighborhood dressed like this? No, she would have been tied to like a flagpole or something and had her feet beaten. It's really chill right now. She would have been bullied into oblivion. When I was growing up, if your shoelace was untied, all the other children descended upon you like locusts. <laughs> if your shoes weren't new, you were done. If you were caught in Payless, they called you Payless the rest of the year. It was over for you. <laughs> Day one, you already failed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be watching this, but I'm high. When this intersects, you get noun self pronouns an animal noun self pronouns no you see what happens is you get too many hugs <laughs> the kids are getting too many hugs then they're figuring out that they're bronies or something it's like oh i'm a treasured animal no you're an ass on a wig <laughs> get dressed to get a job you beatnik if you are not comfortable using someone's pronouns because you assume it's kink for some weird ass reason I'm sorry, but when I see someone rolling around with a choker, I'm assuming it's definite kink involved. You know, they got a choker, they got the thigh highs on with like the extra thing that goes around it with spikes. I'm seeing kinkzilla. Good Lord. Don't interact with them and just shut up about it. Don't interact with them is what we're trying to do. But I'm going to tell you, little one, you little weird people can't seem to shut the f*** up and leave everybody else alone. <laughs> That's the truth. It's like you got to figure out someone's gender. Meanwhile, they're looking like some sort of space alien at this point. And you're just like, I am not sure. It's like the David Bowie song, Rebel Rebel, but it's not sexy or rocking. My God, imagine you lived with this. I don't know if it's a kid or an adult, but you could already tell this person 100% of pain in the ass. Wants to be noticed in the worst way. And you're supposed to figure out to navigate the landmine that is their feelings. And on top of that, some of these people, they change what gender they are depending on the day or the mood or how the sun feels on their skin. Two, when suddenly my gender decides to change right before bed, I'll just be vibing. People say you should accept men like Emily. After all, who hasn't at some point in their lives found a red bikini in my sister's cupboard, slipped it on and paraded up and down in front of the mirror saying, ooh, Aren't you a pretty thing? Well, I haven't. I think it's sick. And you think I'm joking. I'm not. I've seen too many of these videos. But she's right. Don't interact with them. Back in the good old days in the 70s, we used to throw you in a car and take you away. It was called a paddy wagon. Let's talk about libidoist and non-libidoist asexual. 
Pete says no. Oh yeah, time to talk about asexuals who now have so many variations of asexuality. It goes from A to Z. Teen of asexual. Libidoist is a term used to describe any person, regardless of orientation, that experiences sexual urges or desires. They have a libido. They might have... God, this is a weird generation. I'm guessing she's like pansexual. Maybe she's a dude because that's how it's got to be now. All I know is this person is dressed like a dad in a 1940s sitcom. All she's missing is the smoke, the pipe, you know, like, <laughs> where are you going, Beave? I'm going out to help paint a fence. Make sure that that fence is gender inclusive, you little bastard. Sexual relationships have a desire to participate in sexual acts or self-stimulate. Libidoist asexuals exist because libido. Wait, play that again. That, that flew right over my head because it just sounded stupid. They might have sexual relationships like a normal person. So it's a person that will have sex with the opportunities there and sexual attraction are not the same thing. Most allosexuals are libidoists, so some people assume that libidoist asexuals are just allosexual. Not the case. Non-libidoist is used to describe anyone who does not have an What the fuck is an allosexual? There's a new one now. You see how annoying this is? Hey dad, I'm an allosexual on the weekends. Come son, let us go to the back of the bar and I've got something to show you. Remember, Dad, I'm only a guy for the next 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Active sex drive, or at least a very low one. They don't typically feel the need to self-stimulate or participate in sexual acts. This is how most people perceive asexuality and a large percentage of- You ever know, like, I'm serious, this generation's annoying. You need, like, why do we need this whole explanation for some person who is whatever the hell the aloe sexual. Last time I heard aloe, it was in soap. But here we are, 2020. It's gonna be flying cars. No, there's not. Weekly Reader did not prepare me for this when I was a little kid. Uh, in 2020, there'll be flying cars and electric vehicles. No. Instead, in 2020, there's an ever-mutating virus that seems hell-bent on killing off everybody. And now you got a mostly unstable people who seem to be changing their sexuality and gender at whim. It's to the point now where it generally seems like everybody wants to be special to where they have to come up with new sexualities literally like every week. Like, dude, a month ago it was only asexuals. Now there's asexuals that are allosexuals, asexual libidoist. Us do fall under non-libidoist. However, allosexuals can also be non-libidoist. You ever notice that the people making these videos are never hot? You ever notice that, like on the real, it's never like drop dead gorgeous people doing it. It's always people that look like they're headed for a future as a librarian, which wouldn't be very lucrative because libraries are closing down. So the best you can hope for is you can work at Barnes and Nobles and stack manga. Since vaccinations are becoming a cult and completely and utterly fetishized, to the point of where it makes absolutely no sense to me, no chick tried to blow me in line for vaccinations, so I feel ripped off. We now have gay people doing what they do best in this day and age. Trying like hell to still be relevant. Being a standard gay is almost as bad as being straight. You're so basic. So they all do musicals now. Which makes me lament the days of Freddie Mercury. Back when your gay hero was genuinely a god among men. Now we have this. As much as I enjoy making these videos for you, I decided I will do these other videos later because they're just so stupid. And I know I would sit here and rant about them for another 20 minutes and ain't nobody got time for that, genuinely. No, unacceptable. After the successful gender, wait, no. After the successful race, so, oh my God, I can't get through this. After the successful racial re- what do you call it when someone changes their race? Racial configuration? I don't think that works, Stu. Like, really, Stu. But we're going to have to run with it because nobody wrote a script. 
After the successful gender reassignment, not gender. <laughs> Sorry, Ollie London looks like a, an old lesbian, so I got confused. Okay, take 15,000. 